Isn't it interesting, Chosen Ones? Well, first of all, I just want to say that I am so glad that you're here with me on today. And I just wanted to have a conversation. Just talk today. Can I talk? Can we have a conversation today? I may even go live on this subject and just pull people up on the platform, but I just want to talk. You know, we're living in times where it's a lot of us that are single, whether it's 20 to 70, where it's a lot more people that are single. And a lot of times as a single person, a single woman, if I'm, if I'm not in a relationship or if you're a single man, you're not in a relationship, people often wonder like, what's wrong with you? You want to be in one and all this and all of that. And during this time, in the whole timeline of life, the relationship with God is a non-negotiable with a chosen one that's really awakened to who God has created you to be. The relationship with God and you is like a non-negotiable because we understand the significance of the attachment to God in the kingdom. We are fulfilled on the inside. So we don't search a lot on the outside. It's interesting because people make comments like what is wrong with you? You know, you ain't married, but you know, the interesting part is you talk about this and another, but you ain't married. And it's interesting because I, I could be married if I want to. I could be in a full blown relationship if I wanted to be in one. And I know that you could be in a relationship if you wanted to be in one. It's not that we don't get people to approach us with the relationships. We just haven't seen an equivalent yet. I'm not gonna settle when it comes to a mate. And many chosen ones are not gonna settle when it comes to a mate. And that is not saying that we think that we're too good uh, to be with anybody or that our qualifications are, you know, are so, so out of reach. It, it, it doesn't take much for people to have good character. It doesn't take much for people to have a relationship with God. It shouldn't take much for people to be faithful. It shouldn't take much for people to be kind and generous. It shouldn't take much for people to have a good relationship with their family, good social skills. It shouldn't take much for people to be into personal development and, 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 and being a better person. It shouldn't take much for people to educate themselves about who they are and what they struggle with it shouldn't take much for people to be transparent but it does for whatever reason people feel that they can run in relationships and a relationship will remedy your issue with you you done been in 15 relationships and they all end the same way and everybody else is the problem but you. See, as chosen ones, we have a lot of time on our hands because we're set apart from the masses anyway. People don't get us anyway. It's not that we don't get invites. It's not that we're not approached with doing certain things. We just choose not to go because it's a waste of time. Our energy is so important to us our spirit and, and the, the the spirit of god that is really with us we're very picky about where we choose to deal with and where we choose to go because we understand how energies work we understand how spirits can transfer off of somebody and then you get home and you feeling all crazy and having crazy dreams and some everything else because of an encounter we understand these things and sometimes people don't understand us they think that it's something wrong with us because we are fulfilled within. Some of us are okay with being single. Some of us may want to entertain a relationship, but we have things that are non-negotiables. Some of us are not are in relationships and some of us are chosen that are in marriages that are thriving and we're happy in those relationships. So just because a chosen one may be single or a chosen one may not be in a relationship doesn't mean there's something wrong with a chosen one 
believe it or not, chosen ones get people trying to get in relationships with them quite frequently. We're, we're in most cases, used to people trying to get with us. But as a chosen one, we understand that we have a, uh, a, re a relationship with God, but we have a major responsibility in the earth. And because of that responsibility and because of what God has called, called us to do, because we understand how energies work, we understand that we're in the spiritual warfare. If we can't get an equivalent or see one, we don't waste time. We don't waste time with it. I've been in conversations a lot with men and within a set point of time, it's just not it. It's just not it. So we single in most cases because we choose to be. We don't have a problem in most cases being in a relationship. As a matter of fact, we can be in one tomorrow if we choose to. Our goal is pushing through in this dimension, the kingdom of heaven. Our main goal is the relationship with God that is a non-negotiable. We understand that it is counterfeits out here trying to deceive and hoodwink us. We have eyes like an eagle because God has allowed us to see past the flesh of an individual and really see the spirit that resides in people. We choose to be in a relationship with God over anything. And if we choose to entertain as our business, a relationship with somebody, that's all of our business. There's nothing wrong with us because we're single in our midlife or 20s or 50s or 60s or 70s. It's nothing wrong with us. It's what's right with us. It's what's right with us. We don't have an identity that's wrapped up in a relationship. The only identity that we have is sons and daughters of the Most High. That's the identity. That is the thumbprint. That's who we are. We're here on an assignment. We've been through things. We've had experiences in toxic relationships. A lot of us have experienced the narcissist. A lot of us have been through some things in our lives and we're wise. We're not desperate. We're not thirsty. We don't need a relationship. See, it's a difference. I'm not going. I'm not going to get excited and get into a, like a preaching stance because we're having a conversation. So, but it's a difference when you know who you are and who God created you to be, and when you have been awakened in your consciousness. It's a difference. You're not desperate. You're cool with it. Regardless to age, because I've seen people get married at 70 years old, almost 80 years old, and madly in love with their partner. Age is nothing but a number. It doesn't mean a thing. So this you lose value with age stuff, that's for the bird. We belong to the kingdom of God. We're always going to be fly. You understand what I'm saying? Regardless to age. Because what we understand as kingdom citizens is it's not the outside that we're attracted to. Although, now don't get me wrong. We have preferences, but the inside is the most valuable part when it comes to our connection with a significant other. It's the inside. That's, that's the most important thing. So if you're single today, it's okay. If they want to make it take punches and digs at you because you're single, just let that fly off. You have to know who you are and understand that if a marriage is something that is a goal of yours, it's nothing wrong with the fact that it ain't happened yet. It's just meaning that God is taking his time to really get you together so that when he brings a person in your life, you can sustain the relationship because the calling on the chosen one is unlike any calling that I've seen for anybody in this earth. What we see, what we're privy to, all of those things that's so very important and we have to be mindful and we have to allow God to lead us in the direction of a relationship with a male or a female. And that's just the way it is. Period. 
And the last time I checked, we're here to raise the level of spirituality and consciousness on the planet. We're here to change the way that we live as human beings. We're here to raise the level of love on this planet. And what we choose to do and who we choose to date. And if we're single or married or whatever you want to call it. The last time I checked, it's 100% all of our business. And until the next video, guys. Mwah. Peace. Because I believe in you. Bye now.